Jesus calls me home. <laughs> well, I want to get back to something here, though, Jack. There were some names, and uh, you always quote the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the reason that people respect him as uh, a prophet, as one who really knows prophecy. The Bible answers every question that we have. It talked about Russia. It talked about China and the, the, the nations north of Israel. Now, I've heard you preach this before, but Ezekiel 38 makes it very, very clear, doesn't it? Oh, that Russia's going to be involved. Ezekiel 38. And remember, this was just in the headlines of the Wall Street Journal. And I said, Rexella, I've preached that message in 50 nations of the world. And it been right on. You want to hear Ezekiel 38? The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. And then they have the eastern armies of Revelation 16, China, and all the rest. Now, who are all these people? First of all, you have Gog. That's the guy who heads up Russia. Could be Putin. He's there right now. This may be the one. I'm going to say something to you, Trump. I love you. But be careful, careful as you sure. try to get together with Russia. You're going against God's. And I think Pence, who's your vice president, knows that. Be careful. All right. How do we know it's Russia? The word chief there is the Hebrew word for Rosh. Russia. English, Russia. The prince of who? Magog. Meshach. Tubal. Meshach is Moscow. Tubal is Tubal, southwest of Siberia. You get down to verse 5, Persia is on their side. Persia, Ethiopia, Libya, Egypt, all those countries. What? Persia changed its name in 1932 to Iran. Syria, all the, it's all there. You're seeing it in your headlines every day. We're getting ready for the worst war in history. And then the Bible teaches that they're going to be 57 Muslim nations all coming down with armies of 200 million to wipe Israel off the face of the map with those atoms we quoted earlier. They're not going to make it. Sorry. It's four Sharia laws. Number one, you kill your daughter if she commits adultery. Number two, you kill your son if he does a homosexual act and all homosexuals put him dead. Number three, you kill all apostates. That's our own members of our own churches. If they say one word against Allah, Muhammad, or the Quran. Number four, you kill everyone in every religion, 1,600 different cults, and 4,500, all dead, including the Jews and the Christians. And what happens? We go home to heaven, and we get 72 virgins. Oh, my. Just oh. to make love, love, sex. Mm. What kind of religion is that? And you're going to get mad at me for preaching it? Don't worry, I've got my house guarded. I have to. But I'll never stop. That's the truth. Look it up. Sharia law. Thank God for the Ten Commandments. Sharia law is all murder. And for murder, you get to make sex in heaven forever. In heaven! No adulterer, my Bible says, can enter heaven. Get your Ten Commandments and forget Sharia law. All right, Jack. Now, there's a tremendously strong army coming down from the north to invade Israel. Israel's not just going to stand alone, is she? Aren't there going to be countries that will help her also? In fact, the United States, uh, all of Europe, we kind of fell in on that. Tarshish and our lions. Those are the English-speaking nations of the world. America, Canada, England, Ireland, Scotland. 
And then there's the European Union, the five, ten nations now with their flags hanging in Brussels bells. And praise God, that's my father's home country. And they're all going to join together to defend this precious people, the Jews. And God says, I am on their side. They are my beloved. I said it, I repeat, Israel is my wife. And you know, the Apostle Paul was a Jew who became a Christian. And guess what he said? I love the Jews so much. Boy, this shakes me. Romans 9. I could say the truth in Christ. I I would be willing to get my body accursed, accursed from Christ, lost forever. In the fires of hell. If it could be that my precious people, the Jews, could be saved. He said, the preaching of the crosses to them that perish. But he says, the message of the gospel is for the Jew first. And there I stand. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus is about to come back. He comes at the battle of Armageddon. Hey, you Christians are going to be here. Don't worry about it. I will keep you from, that's the Greek word, ek, out of the hour of testing that comes on the whole world with its atomic war and keep you safe. How? The resurrection of the dead. Oh, I hear these guys saying, I don't believe in the rapture. Do you believe in the resurrection? Oh, of course. No, you don't. You call yourself a mystery. You don't know your Bible better than that. There are only two verses in the Bible that speak about the resurrection of the dead. They're both rapture texts. Behold, will I show you a mystery? We shall not all be dead sleep. We shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we the living shall be changed. This corruptible, the dead must put on incorruption. This mortal living must put on immortality. And when the corruptible is put on incorruption, the new body and the mortal is put on immortality, a body that lives forever and ever, and now they can never die again. He comes down and sets up heaven and earth, and it's called the kingdom of the kingdom prayer. Thy kingdom come and as with. Take God be power, glory forever, forever, uh, forever. He transfers heaven to earth. That's what the kingdom is, and that's, I guess, who's going to be the prime heir? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. The one who had a Jewish mother. The father says, I'm going to send my son into the world. First John 4, 14. Holy Spirit, perform a miracle. Place the spirit of my son into the womb of the Virgin Mary. He's called God. In her womb, he was called Emmanuel being interpreted as God with him. You can't get any plainer. God. God. Yes. Mary bore God. He was a spirit. All three of them were. One said, I'll take a body because without shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. All Jews and Christians who died till that time were sent to Hades because their sins were only covered. Kafir. And it said, a blood of animal can't do it. It's possible the blood of Animals can take away sin, only cover them. Jesus said, I'm going to go, I'm going to take a body, and I will take away sin. And as he shed there, and the blood was flowing down his veins, he said, one word, Palestine! Not it is finished. One word, the finished one. The work to get them out of the Hades, to take them to the third heaven, millions of miles in space. And they're going to stay there until my son comes back to set up the kingdom on earth. And Jesus in that kingdom will be the king of the kings and the Lord of the lords. And that is the rapture. That anybody says they don't believe in the rapture, get out of the church. These birds don't know their Bible. They've been reading too many pornographic 